Guillaume de Mevius will be happy with how things have gone for his G Rally team here in Morocco since they took over as the new performance tuner for the Red Bull OT3s. All four cars made it to the finish line and the Belgian picked up his second stage victory today. His teammate Christina Gutierrez had been hoping to snatch second place overall but she had to be content with third. The Spaniard is nevertheless satisfied with her improved machine and her new co-driver Pablo Moreno. She's still in the hunt to claim another World Championship crown. Chaleco Lopez also has a new co-driver in Oriol Mena and they did a fine job. Were it not for a steering arm problem yesterday, the Chilean might have claimed his third win of 2022. But he was happy enough to hold on to second place overall and he's looking forward to a big W2RC showdown in Spain. Overall victory went, at last, to Seth Quintero. The American has racked up plenty of stage wins, but this is the first time that he's topped a final podium. He is also right back in the mix in the World Championship. Congrats. I don't think I've ever driven so cautious and scared in my life. I'm, I've never been in the position to manage a lead. I've always been in the position to try to fight for a lead, so this was a lot different. Uh, but the stage was beautiful. I think today uh, was probably my favorite stage. I'm just kind of bummed out. I couldn't drive as fast as I wanted to because I was so nervous. But no, it was an awesome day today. Uh, a lot of fast sandwiches, what, what my driving style is. But yeah, it's nice to, to be here at the finish line and, and call ourselves the overall winner. Quintero taking it ahead of Chuleco and Gutierrez with Hernan Garces and Mitch Guthrie rounding out the top five. This hasn't been the Rally de Maroc that Marek Goxal was hoping for, but the pole certainly finished on a high note, vaulting to back-to-back -back stage victories. That was enough to snatch the World Championship lead by a single point before the final round. Jeremias Gonzalez isn't competing in the W2RC, but the Argentine still had a fine outing in Morocco, coming third overall. South Racing continue to demonstrate their dominance with four of the top five cars overall. The only interloper was this young man, and remember the name, Pau Navarro. The son of FN Speed manager Santi Navarro, Pau is just 18 years old and has some serious potential. A very impressive second place for him and co-driver Mikhail Mech. But victory went to the rising star of the T4 category, Rokas Bachuska. Third at this year's Dakar, the Lithuanian celebrates his first rally raid win and remarkably he achieved it in his first outing with his new co-driver Oriol Vidal. Just two points now separate Goxa, Vachuska and Austin Jones at the top of the W2RC standings. First time, you know, uh, I won the race. It's a real pleasure, for sure. Uh, disappointed that Jones and Mara cannot fight each other, you know, in this rally Morocco. That's a small championship and that's, uh, that I like, you know, everybody's quick and the same. That is the world champion. Pachuska, Navarro and Gonzalez separated by under 17 minutes with Cristiano Batista and Lucas Del Rio some way back in 4th and 5th. 